Hello, this is Lord Og and welcome to Don't Starve. <clears throat> yes, we're on day 224 right now. And uh, I'm going to do a cooking with Lord Og just after this. But I did have somebody ask me, could I do... <clears throat> Excuse me. Could I do a video showing the th kind of things I've got set up, what I've got set up around me and everything uh, since I've got so far? And because there were a couple of things they hadn't seen before. So I'm actually going to show you a couple of things I have set up. And I'm actually going to show... I'm going to die, by the way. I'm going to actually die for you guys. No, it won't bring the game to an end. It's alright. There are ways to stay alive. So I'm going to die for you guys and show you basically what some of these things do. But I'll start with the... Very easy stuff that you'd expect. I'll take you through the chest and that. And then we'll cover dying at the end. When you know, I've got no tells to do. So uh, let's get to it. Okay so uh, yeah, you've probably noticed I've done a second crop pot now. I don't know why. I think I was just being. I think I'm just being over, over cautious. But uh, I just like to make sure there was always some food on the go. Now food if you drop it on the floor will probably get eaten by something. It usually does. Whereas if you leave it in a crock pot like that, it won't get touched. It'll be okay. Kind of there, just there, because I really, yeah, I, I, I like. If I get back and I've at these, I've been on a bit of an adventure and I've been injured and I've had to eat all this stuff here and I need to get back to some big meals. They're there ready. It's just really a precaution. So they just sit there ready. Of course, got me vegetable farm, which everybody has, and I've got these grass. Uh, saplings like everybody and berries uh, bee boxes now bee boxes are actually twofold for me one yes they are a good distraction for hounds because of course you can uh, gateway of a you know let the hounds will go for them and that gives you time to get away but also because they give you yummy honey oh <laughs> they weren't happy that I took their honey don't worry all right, no need to stop running. Just run away from them. Uh, they don't chase for long. They get bored very quickly, bees. Except that one. That one's decided it's just going to go forever. Okay. So, yeah, it gives you honey. And honey is a very good ingredient in one of my favourite dishes. I'm, that I'm going to do in the next cooking with Lord Ugg. That I'm going to be doing it very, very soon. So, yeah, I like, I like to keep collecting my honey and... Uh, so besides distracting dogs for me, hounds for me, they actually do provide with lots of honey. Uh, so that's important to me. And of course you know what the pig village does. The pig village is, is twofold as well that I've planted kind of down. The pig village is for meat. I can keep killing the pigs when I want to. And stocking up on meat. Or I can go up there and let them kill the hounds for me. Which is always interesting. Or I can go give them meat get them as like my followers and they can, we can go go into a forest and punch down a couple hundred trees for me and I don't have to worry about them tree monsters coming and hurting me because they'll they'll kill the pigs and I have uh, what else bee boxes have this so bed rolls this is a bit of stroke rolls I'm, this is a bit overkill as well I only need one you're not there for if it's night time what a straw roll does is if it's night time and you pick it and you go and get in your inventory, right click it and you'll draw and you'll lie on the you'll you'll lie on it, you'll put it on floor like a mattress. You'll put it on floor like a mattress and then you'll lay on it and what that does is it takes you through to morning. Because of course you don't want the hounds coming at night because they'll chase you around your little campfire and that's it, you're in trouble. If the fire goes you can't stop to put wood on because they bite you. So if the fire goes out, that's it, you're dead and you're done game over so I like to make sure that doesn't happen I've got two because I'm just being overly cautious it's just how I am I can't help that so yeah just make sure I'd, I, if I if I pick one up and then I get busy getting meat and chopping wood and things like that and I don't think of replacing it you know there's always a chance I could run out of straw so I just like to keep two down okay now let's have a look at my chests we have an ingredients chest here this is just running ingredients that I use for cooking. So you've got your frog's legs, got some fish. I should I do fishing in another episode. When I do the fish, I think the fish sticks. When I do the fish sticks, I'll do them. I'll, you'll know how to, I'll teach you how to fish and everything. And then, of course, got some more meat. Got some uh, berries. And then we've got, like I say, frog's legs, honey. And some vegetables. 
And uh, then I've got a couple of chests full of food that make sure I've always got lots and lots. I know people could say, yeah, you're overly prepared and that kind of thing, but look at it this way. I've got to do today 224, so I'm not doing that bad. You know, my, my method is obviously working, and having plenty of food ready and prepared in chests is obviously a good thing because it's keeping me alive. Uh, oh, yeah, I had somebody ask me how come on my cooking with Lord Ugg, I tend to stick on the same day, even though my video lasts longer than a day should. And that's because if you just pause the game and you go to the main menu and then go and then go to continue again, it restarts the day saves in the morning and at night. It saves as the sun as the sun rises and as the sun sets. So you get an auto save then. So all you have to do, well I'll show you. Just go to the main menu, quit, go back to here, continue, and it starts the day again to day two twenty four, you see. But now it's back to morning. And that's all I do. It's just because, you see, I have a kind of routines that I have to go through. Stick being, being alive this long, you get into routines that you do to keep you alive. And if I let days go past while I'm trying to just do a bit of cooking and teach people cooking with some recipes, then it's going to throw the routine out. I did it on one of the videos, and I ended up eating a load of food that I didn't that I didn't really want to eat. But it didn't matter. So I just replaced it all. But still, you know, that kind of thing happens when you get like this far in so i have to keep starting the day again just by restarting and that's it so now you know why that happens so if you see 224 just there all the time then you know what i'm doing i'm not like you know there's no big lie about it everybody can do it it's not a glitch or anything it's it's the game so i'm not yeah, I'm not exploiting anything, it's just simply, that's how it does it. It saves in the morning, saves at night, you can restart when you want. That's just how it works. But, um, anyway, let's carry on. Now, my chests. So, I, I've explained them. Now, we're going to look in this one. This one is my, this is that old crap I had all over the floor. I had a lot of crap all over the floor here, so I just kind of shoved it in here. There's no real rant, there's no real reason for this. This chest isn't for anything spectacular. That's just a kind of miscellaneous chest. This one is for kind of cra kind of like crafting re stuff. I know seeds aren't crafting, but I didn't have any other room at the time, so I shoved them in here. But yeah, it's like for things you can add into uh, building things. And this is the same. This is similar, but this one's more um, materials. You know, that are actually the basis of a of building. Although that isn't, and that isn't. So ignore them too. But yeah, so there you go. And this one is mainly for tools. Although that isn't, and that isn't. <laughs> that's my, that's my organisation for you. Don't worry about it. But this is mainly for tools. Uh, why do I have a blow dart, a sleeping dart? I don't actually use it on anything much. Because the only thing it puts to sleep in one hit is small things like birds. If you shoot it at a pig, it takes about two. Shoot it at a beefalo, it takes about three or four. Shoot it at a tall bird, it takes about three again. So it's really hard because all them things can run as fast as you, or faster than you. So you don't really get a chance to turn around and sh blow a dart in the face. You, know, you usually don't get a chance to shoot one dart. So it gets a bit, you know, I find them useless. But it does have one good use, and this is a, this is a tip for you. Okay. As I say, it's not a pro tip. I don't like the word pro tip. I'm not a champion at this. I'm not, I haven't won awards at this game, so I'm not a pro. This is just a tip. And uh, So anybody who says that to you, here's a pro tip. If they haven't won awards, then they haven't got a clue what they're on about. It's just a tip that they're trying to help you with. There's no such thing as pro tips unless you're definitely a pro at the game. Anyway, here's a tip for you. If you've got berries like this, berry bushes, get yourself some... Uh, sleeping darts because when you pick your berries I don't know if it, if we'll, if it'll happen no but when when you pick your berries sometimes you'll get a turkey or like a bird will blah, 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 come running out at one at bushes and what they do is they eat your berries whether the bush is not is ready or not you know it's like that if I eat that bush if I eat the berries off that bush it'll turn like that and then they've got to be refertilized. See that won't won't grow any bushes now. Uh, bushes that won't grow any berries. No berries can grow on that until I fertilise it like that, 
and now look they turn into the same way as other other bushes and they'll grow berries so what happens is sometimes these birds come out and they will run to these bushes and even though like that one's not ready it'll run over there and eat the berries and then that bush goes yellow and needs fertilizing now the good thing about that is i'll see if i can show you if one eats your berries right it eats it runs out to eat some of your berries run at it and run it away from your berries it'll always run away from you so run it away from your berries then aim at it take a shot and it'll fall asleep see that's asleep then all you do is turn to your weapon run up and wham it okay and that's your turkey dead it stops you running it stops it running around eating your berries when you're because it, they don't come out till you pick so there they might be one in there but it won't come out till i pick the berries off the bush and then i'll walk away and then it also runs out and then when that happens you know you turn around and blow it and blow a dart in its face and uh yeah it stops it eating all your berries so that's why i have uh that uh, Self-explanatory bug catcher. Although that's good for getting to the, of course, if you want to plant flowers, because normally you can't plant a flower, and because uh, flowers are, you know, you pick them up and then you can either eat them or just drop them down. But you can plant them if you catch butterflies, which uh, if you guys need me to show you, I will. Uh, let me just see if, what happens if I have this. Will a turkey come out this time? No. See, they don't come out unless you run away. So, 